Hey guys, Brian Hare here from FreeSalonEducation.com with step six in your 14 steps in becoming a better hair colorist. Uh, today I wanted to tackle one of the more popular looks of the past few years, give you guys a couple of tricks, pointers, tips on how I've found success with it, and that is the ombre. It appears that this look isn't going anywhere, it's just gonna change shapes and colors a little bit. So hopefully I can give you guys some tips and maybe a little bit better understanding on how you can find your favorite way to create the perfect ombre. Uh, my way that I like to do it is using a little something that they call forced perspective. It's an optical illusion that they use in everything from architecture to photography to basically trick the eye into not noticing a transition uh, regarding depth. So I talked about it a little bit in the ombre video that we have on our site. I just wanted to go into it a little bit more to give you guys maybe a little bit better understanding. So here we go. I've got our model here. I chose to use one of the back quadrants just because I wanted a wider section so that you guys could see what I was talking about a little bit clearer. When you take your sections, you want to make sure they're, depending on the density, somewhere around an inch because you'll notice I don't use anything in between. So doing something around an inch is going to keep it so that it has enough stability underneath it to keep from pressing too hard against the hair beneath it, thus causing bleeding. When you do this technique, you can use any kind of lightener you want. I suggest using a lightener that resists swelling. Uh, if it is a lightener that resists swelling, generally that is something that they will say in their advertising because, again, we want to prevent bleed marks. So if it doesn't swell, then it's not going to go any place you don't want it to go. The one I'm using for this today is Paul Mitchell's Synchrolift. I like it because it keeps that wetter consistency throughout the duration of the application and it also resists swelling. So I've got my section here. Now when I'm speaking about that force perspective and creating that depth, this is where you need to start to look at it. Wherever you hold this section as you apply is where that hair is gonna be blonde from that section down to the ends. If I wanted to create more of a stronger lightened effect, I would hold it up closer to the head because from here on out, that's gonna be solid blonde. If I want a little bit more of that natural to play into it, then I'm gonna come down a little bit further and so on and so forth to where if you just want the ends blonde with much more transition, then you're gonna hold it much farther down in your section. So you get yourself a good, nice, firm grip there. Make sure the hair is nice and straight. If they have curly hair, you're gonna do this a little bit different. You're gonna do it the same, actually, the same way, just with much stronger, thicker sections. So I've got her nice and straight, keep it nice and taut. Hold that section elevated up off the head. That's also what's going to help make sure that it doesn't press too hard against the hair beneath it. And now we're going to create that force perspective. You dip the brush, don't scoop, so that you get a nice little bit on the end of your brush. And then we're just going to start using steady hand, just creating nice solid lines. Wherever you want that blonde to start is where you're going to go in with your brush. If you want it all the way up against the scalp, kind of kills the look of an ombre sometimes, but whatever you want to do, start wherever you want. So get plenty of lightener on my brush, start that line, and then just let the hair take the lightener off the brush. I'm not pressing in real hard, I'm literally just holding it close enough for the hair to pull that lightener right off for me. Coming to the other outside of the section there, same thing. Just let that nice solid line create. I'm not worrying about this yet because I want to create that uh, force perspective look before I worry about soaking the ends with the lightener. So now that I've got those two outsides, I'm going to come in the middle at about the same height and create a line down the center there. Now, this is what's going to take your ombre from looking like just a dip dye put a ponytail in and soak it in bleach and make it really start to look like something that's just a natural, beautiful fading. We're gonna go in between these two lines now, but drop it down a little bit further. We're gonna create that same nice straight line going down towards the end of the hair and then come on the same side, do the same thing. Now you can see where we have these five separate lines, but they start to come together on their own here. That's what I'm talking about as far as creating that force perspective. Because if you try to look at the negative space, the hair that we didn't just lighten, you've got your solid color up here, and as it travels down, there's less and less of it until all of a sudden now your lightener comes together. If you have a wider section than this, you might need more than the five lines. You might have to go in between each of these lines with something even shorter. 
If you are dealing with a smaller section, say the front quadrants of the head, you might not be able to get all of those in there, so just do your best at creating those uneven but still mirrored lines throughout the section. As you get down to the end, don't just automatically soak the ends because that's going to create a line of demarcation that we're trying to work against. When these lines come together is when I'm going to start to feather in my lightener using vertical strokes and it's just going to marry all of this together until you get down to the ends. We're going to use my trusty little paddle here to make sure that you get lightener all the way through to that end. And then you can see in here a little bit, because we held that section out and had a good density as far as the section goes, the lightener helps to just kind of make the section buckle so it shouldn't press against the underside too, too hard. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions or anything else you'd need clarified on ombre or anything in general, be sure to visit us at freesaloneducation.com. Check out our Facebook page, Instagram, everything. Uh, we're here for you guys. So thank you, and I'll see you on the next step.